My shirt's getting all fucking, like, the yellow's washing away. It looks like a gradient now. <laughs> it's not supposed to. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Sheldon Keith, but spelled differently. That's a good one because that's his actual name, so that's good. And today I'm actually super excited because back for the first time in a while, we've got a stuff to keep your stuff in video. And I'm actually really excited about these because this is something I've, I've tried to create myself in the past, basically. Like this is this is something that I've came up with my own design. I kind of like just like handymaned it, and I've been using it. I've I've used it for a long time, but then. This company, Nug Buddy, hit me up and they were all like, hey man, like, we wanna send you out some of our prize, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, sure, whatever, send one out. Not thinking anything of it. And then this stuff showed up and I was fucking hype. Hype as shit, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I, I really like these a lot. So the these little boxes came and I, apparently they come in multiple colors. They sent me the black ones, I fuck with black. But like, these two boxes showed up and Immediately I took them out and I started looking around like I wanted to see what it was all about. They came with like these little cards in there and shit like thank you for purchasing Nug Buddy type thing. And I like, I basically I was like immediately like I want to check these things out, right? Boop. So this is what came inside. These two fantastic, kind of really sleek looking containers. I like, I like the looks of them a lot. Also what came inside are these two little like pens so you can literally write on and erase your strain off of it. As you can see, this one I have Gold Cash Golden by the homies over at Wildflower Hemp. And in this one I have Wildflower Hemp also, their hash burger, because they sent me two strains and I kind of wanted to try both of them. I actually haven't tried the hash burger yet. I just I just threw it in there and rolled this joint up of it, the, the first joint I've had of it. And I had like half of the Gold Cash Gold left because I wanted, I wanted to try that out because it sounded really cool to me. And I tried some of that and I put it in here and I still got like two like two little buds left. But like that shit was like really, really nice. Um, we might have to we might have to do a little bong session of this with Patreon after yeah. Ah, fuck, fucking moth. <laughs> Did you see it? Was it on the screen? There's a moth down here. Almost tried to take my life. Holy shit. Um, but my little bomb session with Patreon with the gold cash gold after this. Um, but I'll show you guys the thing that I tried to basically make based off of an idea I had for this type of situation after we light this up because I really want to try this fucking hash burger really bad. So cheers. That is so fucking tasty. Wildflower hemp has the tastiest of weeds, I swear to God. If y'all haven't fucked with Wildflower yet, check them out. Go to my Discord, there's a link in there and shit. So on and so forth. Also, the joint we're smoking, Wildflower Papers. And a tip. It's a Wildflower Paper and a tip. I don't usually use tips, but today, I was feeling fucking spicy. Okay, so a long time ago, we used to do a lot of uh, stuff to keep your stuff in videos. Companies use this kind of shit all the time. We've had like some, some what I'd consider like pretty good products uh, and to what I'd consider like some probably like shitty products that you sh should not waste your money on. Um, but after like a bunch of research and trying out all these different containers, 
I realized something. There's a couple points that people like really want in a storage container, right? Number one, uh, you don't want light to be able to get into it because light can affect your weed. It can decolor it and fucking take some of the terpenes out. Like sunlight is a motherfucker when it comes to weed stuff for some reason. It will literally like succubus the life out of your weed. It'll take away the terps. It'll take away the potency. Like sun, sunlight's a bitch. So you want something dark that, that can black it out, right? Second of all, you want the inside container to be glass. Glass is known for preserving the weeds like natural, like terpenes and flavors and stuff. If you get something that's like stainless steel or plastic, that can also like basically like fuck your tree up from from within. You know what I mean? It'll, it'll start pulling the terpenes out eventually. Uh, it won't like fuck with the color as much as like direct sunlight will, but like it's it's not an ideal situation the ideal situation is a glass container airtight of course that can completely block the sun out so i went online i was like trying to find some stuff like tinted glass and stuff like that but like none of it's really like blackout so what i did the little engineer that i am is i went on amazon and i picked up a couple ball jars like some big ones like this and I also picked up some, uh, I, think, I think we used Flex Spray on this, right? I think so. <laughs> um, I also picked up, what was that other shit we used? Plasti Dip. I also picked up black Plasti Dip, but that didn't get here in time. So I basically flex sealed a fucking thing. I, like, I taped up the top, I flex sealed everything, and I made myself a black ball jar. And it's gorgeous and it works really well and I like it a lot. And then, I used this for a fucking long time, like a long ass time. I used this for, for, for months upon months. This was my go-to container. And then the people at Nug Buddy hit me up and they were like, we want you to check out, you know, some stuff. And they sent me these over and I saw the pictures and I was like, hold the fuck up. Is this really, is this really what I've been looking for this, this whole time? So it's a blacked out container. Sorry, it's a little dusty. I've been using, I've been using this. This had the Garlotti in it first. And then I erased Garlotti off the front and just for this video wrote hash burger on there because we're using the hash burger. It has a nice little lid that comes off and guess what? The inside, even though this is made of metal, the inside container, which comes out by the way, is glass. There was a quarter in here. You could easily fit like more than a half ounce in this. I love this big container. This has been my go-to container for last, what, like month? They sent it to like a month ago. I've been using this for like a month. I love it. It's smooth. It's it's clean looking. I love it. Uh, and then they sent me this this little can, this little one, which also same deal. Twist off the top. It's got a little like removable inside piece. You could probably fit like around. Maybe you could probably fit like a quarter in this one. I'm sure. Like between an eighth and a cube. And that just screws on like that. And I love it because it's airtight. It blocks the sun out. <laughs> It's the inside container is glass, which preserves the flavor. And I'm truly in, in the belief of that every, every person that smokes should have a container that's like a nice container that you can keep trading. So whether you're like me and you want to like kind of makeshift your own thing, I'm gonna let you know this. It's really hard to get like a nice even coat. There are pieces of sunlight that still get in this. If you look at it from the inside, just because like, you know, this, this one was spray paint. Like it didn't, it didn't get everywhere. And also it, like it kind of, you know, when it dries, the other one I have, I completely mangled. It looks terrible. I'll throw a screenshot up of it right here. You might not be able to see that it looks terrible, but like next to this one, like this one looks really good. And the other one looks like I put too much flex seal on it. But if you pick up one of these, you probably won't have that problem at all. And you'll be able to label what's in there I can't, I can't do that with this one because if I try to write on this one, it'll, it'll just be there forever. Something else cool about these little pens is they have little magnet strips on the back. So, I mean, you can't see it, but I have a, a fridge right here and I can literally just keep one of them on the fridge down here and one of them on the fridge upstairs and I can have one of those little white pens anywhere I go. Also, fun fact, 
If you have like a fridge, you can write on the fridge with those little pens. We use them for writing down shit we need in the fridge and shit. And um, it doesn't erase as well in the fridge, but a little bit of Clorox shit comes right off. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My son especially really loves these whiteboard pens. He uh, leaves little messages all over the fridge. Uh, he did a connect the dots thing. <sighs> all sorts of fun times have come from these these little pens right here, not gonna lie. Also, on these little things, they have this little rubber booty on the bottom, both, both of them do. The small one has it too, the big one has it. They have these little rubber booties that come off, so like you don't have to worry about like the glass smacking down the bottom of the tray and everything, because it, the rubber booty won't, won't let your shit smash. I'm also pretty sure these might be like dishwasher safe. I'm pretty sure you, you might be able, don't take my word on this, but you might be able to like take the glass part out, throw that in the dishwasher, take the rubber booty off. You know what I mean? And, and wash it that way. But these work really well. I really I really like the large one. If you're gonna grab one, highly suggest the big one. Unless like you just never have that much tree or you just want something smaller you can keep like in your room or something. Like something maybe no one will find. Just you can tuck this thing away pretty easy. If you never have like more than a quarter on you, you probably don't need the big one. You could probably grab this. But it's like, it's like a nice little clean system. You know what I mean? I like these a lot. Judging by the back, um, Oh, apparently it's temperature controlled too, because it's got a little seat, like, seal in there. Smell proof, durable, discreet exterior, UV protected, like I said, because it's black. And it's got a nested jar and the whiteboard, the whiteboard finish with a marker. And you can get these in three different colors. You can get white, black, or green. Pretty cool. Shit, I almost forgot about this joint. Mmm. Where was I? Anyway, if you want to check these out, uh, these are available on Amazon. Just search up Nug Buddy. I'll leave some links down in the comment section. I think if you use the link, it might give you like a, like a small discount. But I'm not like I'm not 100% sure how that works. But I mean, you can always just try the link. It might it'll, it'll take you right to the product. You don't have to do any searching or anything. I'm just trying to be convenient for y'all. You know? <laughs> Shit. But um, anyway, Patreon. I'll see y'all in a second for. Uh, a little gold cash gold sesh, maybe? I think I think that's what we're gonna do. A little gold cash gold sesh. We hit a bong, maybe break out like an old bong we haven't used in a while. And uh, for everybody else, see ya! Catch my breath, this is about to be a long sentence. I'm pretty sure these also might be mic, <laughs> not mic, <laughs>